7 the ranchers Darius Rucker the new one call this good morning Scott and Paul are about 19 minutes after 8 o'clock Mike is here how you doing Mike it's wine Wednesday it's it a good is Wednesday. wine Wednesday and uh, have a kind of an interesting question this morning Kathleen uh, not only wins our certificate to Chow Mambo but posts an interesting question now I wasn't aware of this she says she's a member of a wine club or some wine clubs and Quite often, if she tries to order wine through her wine club or something over the internet, they won't ship it to Montana. That's right. Now, why is that? Because they're not supposed to. But there's a couple... Now, they can ship it, obviously, to other states. It's state by state. And oh. we have some of the funniest uh, wine shipping laws in yeah. the you know, country. So it's interesting. It's an interesting topic. And there's a couple ways around it. And maybe one's just like bootlegging really yeah so <laughs> i thought it was kind hey, of interesting i actually you know? participated in some of that on an international level a on few years ago yeah, yeah. Well, well, of course you did. 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 i brought back a bunch of bottles of wine from italy wrapped in gym socks in my suitcase really yeah more than the two that you're allowed to have oh. but i claimed them because i was worried about getting detained or whatever so i wrote it on the form but they let me go and then i realized yeah, they probably have bigger bigger fish to fry than uh, yeah. bigger fish yeah. to fry. Sneaking yeah. some Chianti yeah. back yeah. into the U.S. But, Montana but now you you say that the the way around this, if you want to be a law abiding citizen, is there there is a loophole and you can buy a what they call a connoisseur's license that you renew each year. It's fifty dollars okay. and it's actually not a bad idea. You can receive up to twelve cases of wine a year oh, okay. through that connoisseur's license. The problem is is getting other the wineries that are doing the shipping. They have to really uh, kind of check into the authenticity of that mm -hmm. license. And they don't want to take the time to do that a lot of times. They're so busy, especially yeah. small boutique wineries, you know, that have, a, you know, the winemaker as the owner and the uh, head of shipping and picking orders and all of that. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's difficult for them. Yeah. So it's still, uh, in Montana, would you say your best bet's probably still to go down to your favorite local store and, and, uh, yeah, I found one. I found one wine club that said they had a licensed freight forwarder. Hmm. Uh, if anybody knows what that is, wow. and let so, me and know. So they and said they could ship anywhere except the state of Utah. <laughs> except yeah. the state of Utah, and nobody I just, can do anything in Utah. And I just don't. There is no fun. I don't believe they really can do that. And the yeah. problem is too um, that licensed freight forwarder. Uh, it takes two weeks, so hmm. you know it could be. 15 below zero, so your wine's going to be frozen. Oh, yeah. Then it goes through uh, Portugal, oh. and it's 90 degrees, so it's getting heated up, and then it comes back through Montana. By the time they get it here, it's skunky anyway. It's just probably trashed. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, the concept is great, and it is a battle going on uh, nationwide at the state level mm -hmm. because New York, for instance, I mean, there's a lot of... Um, affluent community there that wants to order wine, especially from the West Coast. Affluent or effluent? <laughs> Knock it up. Okay. You know. <laughs> Bunch of stinky rich people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it all rolls yeah. downhill, and, and doesn't I, it? You know, I'm probably not speaking too clearly. No, you're I, good. I, I was I, giving you I went, time. No, no, no. I went to load up my IV bags of Red Bull this morning. Yeah. yeah. They were empty. Uh -oh. I sat out my big can of Red Bull and forgot it. So oh. I'm working off of uh, oh, magical, tough. mystical wine well, endorsements. Well, what I want to say about this question, because it is a good question, but the other thing I would encourage you is, is really great wines available right here in yeah. western montana you don't have to ship them you just go to the places you know there there are wineries obviously there are liquor stores there are uh, a lot of places where you can get a fantastic bottle of wine here locally i mean i understand the interest in wine clubs and i understand the interest in exploring mm -hmm. you know outside of the borders but you know you can do that in a lot of places that just sell bottled wine i mean you can get a very uh well, robust yeah, selection absolutely and it's like george is distributing out of helena they have an incredible portfolio they really provide us consumers mm -hmm. great wine selections. And, and I'll tell you what, you know what, we practically live in wine country. We're about five hours away from Walla Walla, mm -hmm. and we're, you know, close to Oregon and Washington. Uh, so what you're saying is go get it and drive it back home, which yeah. I believe is which also is all right. illegal. It is illegal, but <laughs> what I'm saying is we are more fortunate than we the are. folks in New York. We, we have are, a great truly. selection here with our yeah. Yeah. retailers around town. So. Yeah. So, you know, buy local and, and go and uh, check out, you know, if you're one of those people that thinks you can't get a good bottle of wine in Missoula, like I can't get these fancy Napa Valley wines, or mm -hmm. I can't get these Walla Walla wines, or whatever, you might be surprised if you haven't been to the wine section of your local market they, they recently. They will be surprised, and what yeah. they should do is go to my uh, Facebook fan page, Wine Guy Mike, and ask about 
new ideas for wines because I answer literally every question that comes across the Facebook page, mm. and I welcome that. Okay. So. okay. All right. So uh, go there and uh, and find out if you're looking for a specific wine or anything else. You can't find it. Mike can probably tell you where you're yep. Yeah, and go to Chow Mambo for dinner. They have wines by the glass. They've got an incredible uh, wine list in yeah, the restaurant. That's low commitment wine there, by the glass. That's right. By the yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just going to dip my toe in <laughs> see if I like it. If I like it, I'm going to get a bottle <laughs> you know, of it, but right. I'm going to try it. Hey, we've got a uh, champagne and sparkling wine tasting coming up probably before Valentine's Day. Oh, good. Nice. So nice. stay details tuned. details forthcoming? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, hey, Mike, good to see you. Yeah. It's great to be here, and I made it through without my Red Bull. It's nicely done. Go Nicely, nicely done. It's 825. <laughs> Wine Guy Mike, brought to you by Chow Mambo.